So third reality reached out to me with some of their smart home devices. Now they have been building devices that work locally as well as they have an official integration with Home Assistant. Now they have been initially focused on Zigbee based devices but now they are bringing in devices also with Matter compatibility. Now this is one of the first companies that at least I have seen that provides OTA updates via Zigbee Home Automation. Now while I was testing one of these products, I already got an OTA update for one of these devices. Now this is not a sponsored video, neither they have paid me for all of this. They just sent me the products and all of this opinion is my own. So let's look at the products that they have sent me. Looking at the first one, we have this Zigbee based toe sensor. Now this product is a little bit bigger in size because it makes use of two AAA batteries. Now we can connect this to Home Assistant via Zigbee Home Automation as well as Zigbee 2 MQTT. And once you connect it, you can see the status of the sensor whether it is in the open or in the closed state. Next, let's look at this second device. So here we have a water leak sensor. Now this is a Zigbee based device and it makes use of two AAA batteries. This sensor can be used to detect water leakage and in order to detect the presence of water, it makes use of these two metal strips. Now on touching these two metal strips, it actually triggers a loud alarm such that you can use this device even without an app or even without connecting it to Home Assistant. Now since this is a Zigbee based device, you can connect it to Home Assistant via Zigbee Home Automation or Zigbee to MQTT. Now if I throw in some water on this sensor, it triggers a loud alarm like this. And if you see in Home Assistant, it changes the sensor state from dry to wet. So now using the sensor, you can then set some kind of automation to do some alerting for you. Now the idea about this sensor is that you can place this device wherever you think there could be a water leakage. And once water comes in contact with the sensor, it will sound a loud alarm. Now let's look at the next device. So here we have is a vibration sensor. Now this is a Zigbee based device that connects to Home Assistant via Zigbee Home Automation as well as Zigbee to MQTT. Now this device can pick up vibrations from the surfaces that it is attached to. Like for example, if you attach it to the door and if someone knocks on the door, then this will be picked up by the sensor and then you can see this in Home Assistant. Now inside the sensor, you have this switches for adjusting the sensitivity level at which the vibrations are detected, as well as you have this reset button and this on and off switch for turning on or turning off the buzzer. Now, if you keep the siren switch on, then it will sound a loud alarm like this when it detects some kind of vibration. So next we have this Zigbee based smart plug. Now this can be connected to Home Assistant via Zigbee to MQTT as well as Zigbee Home Automation. Now using this device, you can monitor the power, the current, as well as the energy consumed by any device and monitor it in Home Assistant. Now you can do some kind of automations even to turn off or turn on some manual devices. Now next here we have is a motion sensor. Now this is a Zigbee based device that makes use of PIR sensor to detect motion. Now this sensor makes use of two AAA batteries and the battery life of this can be around two years. Now as per my test, I've seen that it may take up to 30 seconds to a minute for the status of the sensor to get cleared. So finally we have this Zigbee based humidity and temperature sensor. Now using this device, you can measure the temperature as well as the humidity inside the room. Now you can connect this to Home Assistant via Zigbee Home Automation as well as Zigbee to MQTT. Now this device makes use of two AAA batteries and the battery life can be around a year. Now you can switch between Fahrenheit or Celsius reading using this button on the side. Now this sensor refreshes data every 20 seconds so that you get the most latest and the most accurate readings. Now all of these devices are compatible with most of the third party Zigbee hubs and third reality also provides their own smart Zigbee bridge which is matter compatible. Now since we cannot connect Zigbee devices directly to smart speakers like Google Home Mini or Alexa, then using this smart Zigbee bridge, we can connect Zigbee devices to smart speakers. So I'll be making a dedicated video around this. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to see once it is out. Third reality also has a smart speaker which has built in Alexa in it. Now they also have a smart speaker development kit with which you can actually compile some code and have your own personal smart speaker. 
Now, I would like to see that third reality looks into how they can connect this smart speaker to Home Assistant and we can compile some code using ESP Home. So I hope they look into this stuff. Now I keep on making videos around how to make things smart. So if you want to support this channel, there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Now if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.